Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bytes. I'm your friend Abhuman Sakhivel. In this video, we're going to see how we can run the same test case in both Android and iOS. Uh, if you asked me two years late before, I would have told I would have used data provider or parameterized test from uh, JUnit. And then I pass both the Android and iOS as a method parameters. But now my, my thought process has changed a bit. You know, I used this data provider thing for a very long time. And then I thought, you know, there are much better way to implement them. So in this video, we're gonna see about that, right? Uh, so now uh, we only have Android test. It's basically extending Android setup. And then this is, should be test, right? So so I'm using JUnit here. You can also use uh, TestNG or whatever. But if you notice one thing from the Android setup and the iOS setup is, is basically this mobile platform type, if you pass as Android, this init driver, for mobile handles them, right? So it basically just need one input, whether it is Android or iOS, that's it. So now if I go back to this uh, Android setup, we are passing Android. If you go to iOS setup, we are passing iOS. So this is okay if you are running your Android and iOS test. So in conventional way, what we normally do is if you want to run the test on both Android and iOS, uh, we will use data provider here. We pass platform type here. And then here we will call uh, driver dot in a driver for mobile and then we pass the android and ios so this is how we typically do this uh, but this is noisy and and we cannot control a lot like data provider you have to create a new method and all that so it's it's pretty 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 noisy as well so how we can avoid this right so let's create a, a, a class called as mobile test because this is going to be common for both android and ios right and then i want to have a class called as mobile setup because it's gonna be same thing, right? So um, basically I create a class now, uh, not here, maybe inside the base package, com.test.mobile.base, right? So I can create it here. And uh, here I can just copy this, right? If you're using uh, testng, it should be before method and after method, here it's before each and after each. Uh, let's go to the mobile test and uh, mobile setup and then i'll put it here so it just i need to pass this based on the needs right so what i can do is i will go to uh, the framework config guys if you haven't watched my video on owner library uh, please do watch that because we are managing our property files using uh we are managing our property files using uh owner library so so, so here um So we just need one parameter called a mobile platform type. Again, this can be uh, passed from the system properties or environment properties, or it, it will be fetched from all these things, right? Uh, but in our case, I put a default value of Android, which means if you don't pass any values, it will use Android. But in our case, we don't want the string. We want the mobile platform type, right? So we want this either Android or iOS as a enum type. So in order to convert from string to enum type, I use a converter class called as sync to mobile platform type converter. So instead of doing all these operations in the inside here, uh, I, I do it in a separate class called as this sync to mobile platform type converter. Uh, this, if somebody is passing me Android, I basically convert it into capital case, like upper cases, and then convert to mobile platform type. So I have mobile platform type ready, and this will be passed by uh, the user. So I don't have to worry about it. Now I create a private final uh, and then this is going to be mobile platform type, mobile platform type to call to config factory dot get config. Yeah. So I use a config factory class to get the configuration and I need this mobile platform type, I'll get it. So once I get this, I just typically pass it here. That's it. Now everything is handled here. If somebody wants to run it in Android, they pass this parameter as Android or they pass this as iOS, right? So now, see, previously we used to have only one test suite that consists of both Android and iOS test because we use data provider and parameters test. But in this case, you'll have one test suite that is only handling Android and one, another test suite that will only hand, handle iOS. So this way, you can have very good separations, okay? Uh, now, let's go to um, mobile test. And here I need a mobile test that is common for Android and iOS. Unfortunately, I don't have an app that works on both. 
So basically, I'm going to copy this test and I come here to the mobile test and use it. Uh, in case of, uh, you know, J unit, you just no, don't need to pass all these things. See, my uh, stuffs are complaining, right? So now all these complaints are gone. So if I want to run this test, uh, by default, it will run on Android, right? So it go here, it tries to find this value. Uh, it goes there, nobody passes any value. So by default, it's used Android. So my test case should now run on Android. So if you notice, Android app is launched. You should scroll till the bottom and then try to find the element, web view, and then click on it. So it's, it's working absolutely fine. Now, if I change this to iOS, I need to run this on iOS. Let's check it. Um, let's go to the iOS test and uh, let me copy this, come to mobile test and I paste it here. Guys, in your case, you don't have to, if you have a common app, you don't have to copy paste these things, okay? It should work there as well. Uh, so now let's try to run iOS. Uh, this time it should run it on iOS because I changed this value manually, okay? During development, you can change this value manually, but when you try to run it from the GitHub Actions or Jenkins, you can pass this as a Maven arguments. We will also see that how we can do it. But for now, let's try to check whether this is working first. Let's open the simulator and see if it is working correctly. Yeah, it's launching the app and uh, it's clicking on the plus icon. So absolutely working fine. Hey, Amudan. It's okay if you want to run both these tests on both Android and iOS. But what? I want to only run this on Android and some test cases only on iOS and some on both. In those cases, you can leverage tags. Okay. In, in JUnit, we, ha we have something called a stack and I can put Android, which means this test case is, can be filtered using what tag called as Android. And this can be filtered only using uh, iOS. So I'll simply put iOS here, right? So if somebody is selling, hey, only run the, in, in case of test engine, we use groups, okay? You can use groups and then you can filter. In case of JUnit, you can use tags, right? Let's see how we can do this. So if you notice, uh, let's say I want to run only iOS test. I say hyphen D groups equal to Android or iOS, okay? Based on the tag, okay? It, it goes and searches all the classes and all the test methods that are having tags as iOS. In this case, there is only one, so it, it runs this. But I want to make sure that I always pass the mobile platform type because I don't know what the default value will be. So I don't consider it and I pass from here like this, right? Now it should run only on iOS and it should run only one test. Let's see whether the filtering is happening. So if there is a test that is run, that has to be run on both Android and iOS, you can tag them uh, at the rate tag Android, at the rate tag iOS, right? So that it runs on both, okay? So now it's it's trying to pick the test from mobile thing and then it just passed. So it also, we can see here, it ran mobile test and then, yeah, basically it worked correctly. Uh, let's say if you want to run it on Android, instead of this, uh, you can basically pass Android. So the groups is Android, mobile platform type is Android, try to run it, it should only run Android. So let's open the Android device. So I also have Maven Surefire plugin uh, added so that it picks my test case. If you face any issues, just update your Maven Surefire plugin. Okay, that's very important. So now it's it's doing the Android test as well. Okay, but if you notice, this is little noisy, right? So you can make spelling mistake. Somebody might do something like this. Uh, so let's say I want to run it on both Android and iOS. Then I need to do copy paste like this, and then I need to do iOS. You can do you know these things, but instead of this, you can also create your own custom annotations. Okay, so go ahead and create an annotation called as Android test, add these stuff. Okay, and then I also have added at the rate test from JUnit, and then I also have added tag. So instead of you typing these two things, uh, all these things yourselves, rather you could just say instead of writing these two, you could simply say now at the rate and write test. So the behavior is going to be same, okay? So it's saying uh, at the method type. So if you notice, it is telling, hey, I cannot apply it on a method. Let's go and see. Uh, it is telling on only on type, but it should be on both element type dot method. So where I can apply this annotation, it should be applied on method as well as type. Type means class. You can also 
apply the tag on class level as well. Okay. Um, but in our case, you don't need it. So I didn't put it. So, so if you want iOS, you can also put uh, at the rate iOS test. Okay. And then again, it throws error. Let's go ahead and fix it. And let's also add element type dot method. Okay. So let's go there and all the errors are now gone. So if you want to run it on both, suppose this test is part of both, or maybe we can create a test login, or it should run on both. You can have something like this, and you can add Android test, iOS test, boom. So now it works. If you try to run that Android test now, it will run this and also runs this. So now this way, if I go to terminal, run just the Android, it should run two tests. So let's see. So this way you can have a better control, right? Even the code is much easier to understand, right? Uh, Android test, iOS test, I understand it's applied for both. Some is applied only for Android. You do the filtering at the Maven level, right? Nobody is going to run just your code in, you know, via, you know, your, your IDs. Always it's going to be from GitHub Actions or, or Jenkins. In case of GitHub Actions, you can have one workflow uh, and have two jobs, one job for running Android and one, one job for running iOS. This way you can have better control uh, instead of, so we didn't use any data provider, nothing, everything will be automatically taken care. So if you notice there are two test runs, both of them first. So this is how we can manage your test cases. Uh, if you want to run the same test on Android and iOS, sometimes some test case only on Android, sometimes some test case only on iOS, right? So that's that's all about this video. We'll I will cover something interesting, maybe in how to create an API test, how we can use API as a prerequisite to to the web test or mobile test in the in the next video. I see you guys in another great video. Tada! Bye bye guys. Bye.